let's look at nth derivative of rational functions which have to be converted into partial fractions or partial functions so let's say for example y is equal to 1 by x plus 2 times x minus 1 now th there is no standard uh, nth derivative which fits this pattern so let's split this into partial fractions so that would be a by x plus 2 plus b by x minus 1 1 is equal to a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2 now let's make a disappear by making x equal to 1 we get 0 plus b 1 plus 2 so 1 is equal to 3b so b is equal to 1 by now if we make x equal to minus 2 then what happens 1 is equal to a minus 2 minus 1 plus b times minus 2 plus 2 so this becomes 1 is equal to minus 3a plus 0 so a equal to minus 1 by 3 so our y becomes minus 1 by 3 times x plus 2 plus 1 by 3 times x minus 1 now this is a pattern we recognize yes remember this this is a standard so nth derivative of 1 by a x plus b is equal to what minus 1 to the power of n times n factorial to the power of a to the power of n divided by a x plus b to the power of n plus 1 okay here it is 1 by a x plus b 3x plus 6 so which means now it becomes very easy for us to find the nth derivative so y n would be what 1 by 3 is common to both of them so let's take it out or let's simplify this a little bit too and then we'll find the derivative so minus 1 by x plus 2 plus 1 by x minus 1 so now nth derivative would be 1 by 3 nth derivative of 1 by 1 now let's apply the standard pattern minus 1 to the power of n times n factorial yes a to the power of n a is 1 divided by x minus 1 sorry x plus 2 x plus 2 to the power of n plus 1 plus or here minus because of this okay plus same pattern so minus 1 to the power of n times n factorial by x minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 now here again we find commonality so minus 1 to the power of n times n factorial is common okay now just so that we can avoid minus in the first term we just shuffle so 1 by x minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 2 of n plus 1 so this is the nth derivative of the given function y is equal to 1 by x plus 2 times x minus 1 let's very quickly do one more y is equal to 1 by 6x square minus 5x plus 1 this can be factorized into 1 by 3x minus 1 times 2x minus 1 now again we resolve it into partial fractions 3x minus 1 plus b by 2x minus 1 so 1 is equal to a times 2x minus 1 again we don't write the denominator at all because they get cancelled plus b times 3x minus 1 we can 2ax minus 
a plus 3bx minus b. We can look at coefficients of x, equate them. So there is no x on the left hand side. So 0 is equal to 2a plus 3b, 3b. That is the coefficients of x. 1 is equal to minus a minus b. Now let's multiply this by 2. We get 2 is equal to minus 2a minus 2b. And let's bring in the other equations. 2a plus 3b. And let's add them. So when we add them, these two get cancelled. So 2 is equal to b. Now we can substitute b into any one of the other equations. So 1 is equal to minus a minus b minus a minus 2. So minus a is equal to 1 plus 2. So a equal to minus 3. Okay, so which means y can be written as minus 3 by 3x minus 1 and b can be written as 2 by 2x minus 1. Again, now we can use the standard formula for nth derivative. We can say yn is equal to minus 3 nth derivative and plus 2 times nth derivative of 1 by 3 2x plus 1. Now this would be equal to minus 3 times minus 1 to the power of n, n factorial, 3 to the power of n by 3x minus 1, n plus 1, plus 2 times minus 1 to the power of n, n factorial, 2 to the power of n by 2x plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. And here again you have uh, something in common. So let's take that common out n factorial. So minus 3 times 3 to the power of n by 3x minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the power of n by 2x plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Now this can be simplified to this 3 times 3 to the power of, okay, let's bring in the, let's, uh, you know, exchange them so that the first term is not negative. So 2 times 2 to the power of n will give you what? 2 to the power of n plus 1. So 2n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 minus 3n times 3 is 3n plus 1, 3x minus 1, n plus 1. So this is the nth derivative formula. Let's do one more problem y is equal to x square divided by x minus 1 the whole square times x minus 2 now a by x minus 1 square plus b by x minus 1 plus c by x minus 2 x square is equal to a times x minus 1 no x minus 1 not required because here denominators common is there so x minus 2 plus p times x minus 1 x minus 2 plus c times x minus 1 the whole square okay now let's make one of them uh, one or two of them disappear so let x equal to 1 to make this disappear so if we make x equal to 1 we get 1 is equal to a times minus 2 plus this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0 so 1 is equal to a minus 1 which is a equal to minus 1 now let's make x equal to 2 so 
so if x equal to 2 then 2 square is equal to a times 2 minus 2 so which means 0 plus x minus 2 here also so 0 plus c times 2 minus 1 square 2 minus 1 is 1 1 square is 1 so c so c equal to 4 equate x squares because there is nothing else we can do here so let's equate x squares here x square so equating x squares what do we get here we don't have x here we have x square so if we just look at x squares we have b x square and we will have c x square b x square c x square okay that would be 1 is equal to b plus c now 1 is equal to b plus 4 we already have found it so b is equal to 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 minus 1 by x minus 1 the whole square x minus 1 the whole square then b minus 3 by x minus 1 then c okay so this is our now to avoid negative in the first term we can rearrange this x minus 2 minus 1 by so 1 the whole square minus 3 by minus 1 okay now that we have it in this form now we have a standard derivative with this pattern so we can write the nth derivative as 4 times nth derivative of 1 minus x minus 2 minus nth derivative of 1 minus x minus 1 the whole square minus 3 times nth derivative of 1 by x minus 1 now the standard pattern is nth derivative of 1 by ax plus b to the power of m is equal to minus 1 to the power of n m plus n minus 1 factorial m minus 1 factorial times ax plus b m plus n a to the power of n this we have done the derivation in previous sessions so now we apply this to our problem here so y n is equal to k4 okay, times minus 1 to the power of n m plus n m is the exponent of this which is 1 plus n minus 1 factorial a is the coefficient of x so which is 1 to the power of n divided by 1 minus 1 factorial a x now a is 1 so x minus 2 the power of m which is 1 m is 1 plus n minus 3 times minus 1 to the power of n now here m is 2 the exponent so 2 plus n minus 1 factorial coefficient of x is 1 1 1 to the power of n divided by m is 2 so 2 minus 1 factorial ax plus b is x minus 1 to the power of 2 that is m plus n minus 3 times 1 by x minus 1 so same as this so minus 1 to the power of n 1 plus n minus 1 to the factorial 1 to the power of n by m is again 1 so 1 minus 1 
factorial x minus 1 x minus 1 to the power of m m is 1 so 1 plus n so now we simplify it and at the same time we take out something that is whatever is common so common is minus 1 to the power of n uh, now we have to take one more step and then we can decide whether something is common or not minus 1 to the power of n uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so n so we can just write n factorial divided by 0 factorial which is 1 so x minus 2 n plus 1 minus 3 times minus 1 to the power of n 2 minus 1 is 1 so n plus 1 factorial 1 to the power of 1 n is 1 so 2 minus 1 factorial is 1 x minus 1 to the power of n plus 2 minus 3 times 3 by uh, 3 times minus 1 to the power of n n factorial 1 to the power of n is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 factorial is 0 factorial which is 1 x minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 okay so now what is common is minus 1 to the power of n and n factorial now 4 by x minus 2 n plus 1 minus now n factorial can be written as n into n plus 1 now n plus 1 into n factorial so n factorial if we take we are left with n plus 1 alone without the factorial so n plus 1 so let's write this without okay 3 is there so 3 n plus 1 by x minus 1 to the power of n plus 2 minus 3 by x minus 1 n plus 1 so that is the nth derivative here you need to be careful n plus 1 factorial n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 times n factorial so we take this out so we are left with n plus 1 okay so that is nth derivative of a function which has to be resolved for partial fractions that's it for today bye for now